Yo, what's good y'all? Welcome back to the channel uh, today. I know it's been a while since we've uploaded. It's been a minute because uh, we got a little sick um, and we had some stuff to do like moving. Um, but we're finally back and we're in little Tokyo, of course. But today I thought that I would take you guys on a whole tour of uh, all the anime stores I go to and stuff because I haven't done that in a video. I've only taken you to each individual spot and made it its own video, but you know, I decided why not make it a big video and take it to every spot that I go to in Little Tokyo. I think it'll be pretty entertaining. So hope you enjoy the video and let's get started. And then for the question of the day, I, I just want to know how y'all are doing. A uh, pretty simple question. Haven't, haven't been here in like two weeks, so let me know how y'all are doing. So the first spot is something y'all should be pretty familiar with uh, if you've been to Little Tokyo, if not, um, and this is your first time, then uh, the first place that I wanted to show you guys is Anime Jungle. Um, Anime Jungle is a kind of like chain of figure stores um, from Japan. And in this little plaza section here, they've got a bunch of anime figures in this store right here. Uh, they don't really let you record inside, so we can only get it from the outside. But as you can see, they have a bunch of anime figures here. Um, I would, uh, I would kind of recommend that you shop here. Um, they have a very good pre-owned section, is, which is what I usually go to when I go to that store over there. Um, the brand new stuff is kind of, it's kind of hit or miss because uh, they kind of up-price their figures uh, by a good margin. Um, so I wouldn't recommend buying brand new figures there, but I would recommend buying pre-owned stuff there. Um, there's, you know, a bunch of cool anime merch there, plushies, keychains, and all of that that you can find here. Um, but for me, the biggest thing is the uh, pre-owned stuff. Um, they also sell a variety of Blu-rays, I know, um, and a bunch of other things and out-of-box figures, which is something I like as well. Um, so if you're interested in that kind of stuff, I would go to Anime Jungle. But Anime Jungle is also not just one store. Um, over here, Anime Jungle has their card store, uh, which as you can see is full of like Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, Vanguard stuff, and all that pretty cool stuff. They also have Weiss Schwartz cards, which is what I come here for. Um, I don't play the game, but I do come to collect. So if you're interested in cards, they do have a section um, of, they have a section of uh, card stuff. And then walking, continuing over here, they also have a, a section for uh, Gundam over here. Um, I'm not really into Gundam, uh, so I don't really shop here, but as you can see, giant Gunplus store uh, with a bunch of things. Um, if you're interested in Gundam and stuff like that and model kits, this part of Anime Jungle is definitely the place to go. And then they have one last spot over here, um, which is their buyback station. Uh, you're able to sell anime figures here. Um, and they give you a price uh, usually. Um, it's not the best price, but if you need to sell figures quickly, this is where you would go to sell your stuff. They also sell Funko Pops and stuff here. So if you're interested in Funko Pops, that's definitely where to go. Um, and then across from the buyback station uh, is actually uh, this uh, section right here. Um, depending on the day um, or week you go, uh, this store might be different. Right now they have a bunch of uh, Japanese crane games over here. But they have a bunch of Japanese crane games over here as you can see. Um, but sometimes when you go over here, um, it's kind of like a pop-up store. Before they've had a Bushy Road pop-up store. Um, which is one of my favorites because they had Red Youth Starlight merch. Um, they also had a Demon Slayer pop-up store, so if you're interested in that, this is probably where they're, they're gonna do that. Uh, as you can see, one play is one dollar, so every game here is a dollar. And yeah, it's pretty much just a bunch of crane games. Um, as you can see, they have like stuff like Genshin, uh, Haikyuu over there. They have a bunch of uh, Sanrio things as well. Bunch of cute things, bunch of random things at times. Uh, they have these bigger ones over here. Um, yeah, so it's just a bunch of plushies and little things you can play. Uh, I've been here a lot and it's pretty fun. So would highly recommend going here. And then over here is a new pop-up. Uh, I don't know if they're an official store or if they're gonna stay, um, but they have the Gashapon, the Bandai Gashapon shop. Uh, it's basically a bunch of gacha, uh, 
figures and stuff that you can buy. It's kind of like the other uh, arcade that I showed you where you can play for a dollar, um, but this is one of those things where you just uh, roll technically and you get uh, the figure you want. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, I've only been here once and I saw that they had uh, a bunch of like Demon Slayer, Jujutsu Kaisen, uh, Sanrio. Um, it's a bunch of like mini figures that you can get. Um, they're a bit more expensive than the uh, the other uh, crane arcade that they have here, but uh, this is a pretty cool place. I don't know how long they're going to be here. I don't know if they're a pop-up, but at the time of this recording, uh, February 16, 2023, uh, this is over here in the Little Tokyo Mall. Uh, so if you're interested in this kind of stuff, go in. It's a pretty cool place and uh, you can find yourself some pretty cool things over here. Um, as we continue on through, uh, if you're liking the video, uh, be sure to like it. Um, it helps the channel out a lot, and I'd appreciate it very much. But here we are walking through uh, the village over here. Uh, the village doesn't um, have the, the greatest anime stores, but they do have some, which y'all might be interested in. Um, I do know they have uh, Make Asobi here. I think this is part of Tokyo Japanese lifestyle. Um, but as you can see, they have a bunch of anime figures there. I don't really know the prices of them. Um, and I haven't really gone there. I probably should. Um, but yeah, they have that place over here. Um, and then as you walk <coughs> over here, they also have a uh, Tokyo Japanese outlet over here, as you can see. Um, these are pretty much the normal places in the mall that you can find. Um, I personally wouldn't recommend going here because they do up price things, but I do know there's a, uh, there's a crowd for that. Um, they have plushies, figures, and all of that good stuff. Um, and then over here, actually, walk past it, is the Sanrio store. Um, they don't let you record here, I know that. Um, but the Sanrio store is over here, as you can see. Um, I recently went here and bought something for my girlfriend, so... If you're into Sanrio, this is definitely the place to go. I'm trying out this live recording style, uh, which I used to do in the past, but it's kind of nerve-wracking nerve because a bunch of people are at Little Tokyo today. Um, it's a Thursday. I don't know why there are so many people here. It's usually pretty empty. Um, but if there are awkward pauses and stuff, I'm really sorry about that. Uh, it's just that a lot of people are here. But uh, as you go over here, let me try to cross the street really quick. As we cross the street over here, uh, in this section, uh, they have a uh, Style Outlet LA. Um, I'm highly against this store, actually, because it's a bunch of fake things. Um, a bunch of counterfeit figures and stuff. Uh, I guess they have some clothes here, but I definitely wouldn't recommend going to Style Outlet LA. So the next store that I would highly recommend is uh, next to Style Outlet LA, as you can see, and it is Sakura Anime Toys. Uh, Sakura Anime Toys is actually one of my favorite shops um, in Little Tokyo because of how competitive their pricing is. Um, they have a bunch of like uh, prize figures and androids for pretty much retail. Um, and they don't really overprice their things, uh, except for the scale figures, which are very, very slight upcharge. Um, but if you're looking for anime figures, um, you know, like the common ones, I would highly recommend going to Sakura Anime Toys. Uh, like I said earlier, Anime Jungle is more for the rare figures that, you know, you wouldn't really see because people trade things in and you can find figures that you normally wouldn't in regular stores. But Sakura Anime Toys is one of those uh, stores that, you know, they sell things for retail and they won't upcharge you. Um, so if you're looking for prize figures, Nandroids, I believe they have Figmas as well, uh, plushies. Uh, this is definitely the place to go. Um, for scales, I would recommend um, sticking to online stuff. Unless you find one that you really like in here, then for sure, go buy it. But yeah, Sakura Anime Toys, one of the best stores in Little Tokyo, would highly recommend. So right after Sakura Anime Toys, right next door um, is Book Off. And if you're a fan of the channel, uh, you know how much I love Book Off. Uh, if you don't know what Book Off is, uh, Book Off is basically uh, Japan's, I believe, biggest pre-owned retailer um, and they have some locations here a lot of them in Los Angeles um, so yeah it's a pretty cool shop they specialize in pre-owned anime figures pre-owned manga and all of that uh, the big draw about book off is that you'll find things that you typically wouldn't find in your typical I guess 
Barnes and Noble or your typical, you know, regular bookstore, as well as your typical uh, figure shop, like a soccer anime toys, uh, like I said earlier. Um, it's pretty similar to Anime Jungle. Uh, it's just that they don't uh, price things as high as Anime Jungle. So I would highly recommend going to Book Off. I'm a big fan of it. Um, it's one of my favorite stores to go to. They have locations all over LA. And if you live in LA, I would highly recommend, you know, making the trip out to go to every Book Off because you never know what you'll find. Uh, one of my biggest uh, memories from Book Off is that I found my 1 8 scale uh, Devil Homura, which is my grail figure there for a very, very competitive price. Um, and I have not regretted that purchase ever. So yeah, uh, in anime, uh, in Little Tokyo, I mean, they have a, the Book Off Anime Lab, which means they specialize in uh, things uh, revolving around anime. So it's basically all anime things here. But in other locations, they do have like pre-owned books uh, and things like that. Uh, so yeah, uh, if you're, you know, you're looking for anime stuff, uh, the Book Off in Little Tokyo is definitely the place to go for you. Also, I forgot to mention about Book Off is uh, the merch you find here is, it's crazy, man. Um, a bunch of like small merch things like shikishi boards, uh, clear files, you know, keychains, acrylic stands. This is definitely the place to go. Um, they have pretty much any accessory thing you could think of um, in the Book Off, so. If you're looking for something small uh, for like a friend or something, uh, this is definitely the place to go. All right, so we're heading across the street from the little Tokyo mall and we're heading over to Weller Court. Uh, Weller Court uh, is, you know, one of the places that I frequent the most because uh, it has Kinokuniya there and it also has some other shops there that I'll show you. So let's go. So as we head into Weller Court uh, on the first floor, uh, the first thing you'll see is uh, Kimono, yeah. Uh, in all honesty, I'm not really the biggest fan of uh, Kimono, yeah. Uh, uh, sitting right behind it, because uh, I know they won't let you record. Um, but I'm not the biggest fan of it because of how high they price their items. Um, it's probably like a 35 to 50 percent upcharge on everything they sell there, like pop-up parades. They sell for like 50 to 60 dollars, which I think is crazy because. Papa parades are like what, 30, 35, sometimes $40, depending on uh, the figure. Um, but I don't think anyone should be paying that much for figures. And then don't even get me started on the scales there. The scales there are, the, the prices are mind boggling to say the least. They're at anime jungle levels. So uh, wouldn't recommend Kimono Ya, but if you're here, uh, it's a pretty cool place to look at. They have figures, plushies. Um, they also have some like cutlery and silverware. Um, if you're into that, um, and then they also have some uh, Dakimakuras here, which I don't know if they're official, but they do have some Dakimakuras. So if, if you're into that, uh, go to Kimonoya. So as we come to the second floor, um, we're in Kinokuniya, and as you know, Kinokuniya is one of my favorite places to shop. Um, they have a wide variety of uh, manga and light novels and everything um, and it's pretty much the place I go to if I want to buy a manga or light novel in person because they have the widest selection for me um, as you can see it's not too busy right now but um, great place they have things for pretty much retail and sometimes uh, they have uh, member appreciation weeks which is uh, what's going on right now uh, where they give you 20% off uh, if you're a member in addition to the 5% no, 10% off that they give you with your membership as well. But if you're looking for manga, light novels, uh, even small things, as you can see here, they have some badges and things over here as well. But yeah, manga, light novels, uh, even art books, key animation books. I mean, look at these Attack on Titan ones. They look pretty cool. Uh, this is definitely the place to go. Uh, I go here pretty much every week uh, just to see what they have. And it's always a fun thing to do. So if you're looking for manga, light novels, Kinokuni is your place. So the last place that I want to mention, uh, sorry for the voiceover, they were playing copyrighted music inside, but the last place that I want to mention is uh, Sora Gummy or Sora Gumi. Um, this place is a relatively new store. They opened probably a couple months ago um, in either September or October, one of those months, but they opened up and um, they're a pretty cool store. They're pretty unique in the fact that they sell figures. 
um, and they actually have pretty good prices on the figures and androids and all of those things um, but they also sell a bunch of uh, like anime merchandise keychains uh, model kits um, they sell clothing I know they sell a lot of Hatsune Miku clothing um, they also sell a bunch of keychains for Genshin Daki Makuras um, and then they also sell like a bunch of tech wear and they're kind of just like a a shop for a bunch of like small small creators I guess um, a lot of these uh, apparel places aren't very well known um, so if you're looking to support the smaller uh, I guess businesses uh, definitely take a look at Soragami. They have a lot of cool stuff. Uh, other than the tech wear, they have things like um, printed on um, shirts and sweaters and things like that. They also have uh, mouse pads uh, and a bunch of stuff. I mean, they have a bunch of Genshin, a bunch of Hollow Live, uh, pretty much anything you can think of. They kind of have it all there. So yeah, check out Soragumi. They're a pretty cool place. Um, and yeah, I think they're a very unique shop if you're looking for some sort of shop like that but yeah uh that pretty much does it for uh all the places i go to in little tokyo when i head over here uh i hope y'all find this video useful if you're looking for anime figures manga all that good stuff uh and yeah if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like uh comment uh subscribe and all that good stuff i'd appreciate it very much and it helped the video out a lot um but yeah again thank you very much for the support sorry that it took me so long to record a video um Again, been pretty busy uh, and got sick, so it is what it is, but we're back. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.